Eiffel. London, 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 London. Eiffel. This is Coogan Cassius for iPhone London. We're at the Sheffield Multipoint Arena for Edge of Glory. With me, I've got making his professional debut tonight. Cal, you're five. You've waited a long time for this debut, Cal. And uh, Daryl Spencer out in two rounds. Yeah, um, I waited a long time and all the hard training's paid off so far. Got in there uh, after a long wait. Had a good, uh, rushed the first round a little bit, but once I settled in the second, got home with some decent body shots and got him out there. It's not the easiest fight for your first fight because Delroy Spencer obviously very experienced and very awkward as well. So, um, but you know, two rounds you can't moan. No, I can't moan. Can't complain. He, he doesn't really get stopped. I don't think he's been stopped. He ain't been stopped for a while. Um, so yeah, it was good to get the stoppage against him. I weren't looking for it. Um, well, I was in the end, but I went in there and just try and look good and just stick to my boxing. But I, si uh, I, si I had a bit of red mist in my eyes and thought, go, go for it, go for the kill. Um, even though you fought after the main event, Kelbrook and Carson Jones, there was a lot of the crowd that has still stayed to obviously watch you. A lot of your fans were here to support you, so that's good to know, obviously. Yeah, yeah, it's great. Um, a lot turned out. A lot more turned out than I thought they would do. Um, I didn't I didn't sell as much tickets as they were here tonight, so um, I'm happy a lot of people come and supported. They come a long way from Birmingham, and um, they got, it's a late night. But, um, yeah, I'm fully grateful for that. If you was to assess your performance out of ten, what would you give yourself? Six. Six? Yeah. If it was a, if I'd if I had a better first round, I'd probably give it a seven or eight. But um just when you when you expect a lot out of yourself, um, especially with all the amateur experience and boxing at that high level as an amateur, um, I think I'm a bit critical of myself. So I think it's about a six. And your first thoughts of obviously that transition from amateur to pro, what would you think? Did you think it would be the same or a little I bit different. It, it, I felt a bit different in there, but I felt more comfortable than I thought I would do. With that head guard done, heads come together a couple of times, but it didn't it didn't bother me. Um, didn't didn't feel anything. I got warned a couple of times for it in the back of the head. I saw that, yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's just part of the learning curve. And a little bow. So yeah, it's, it's yeah. from the amateurs, isn't it? Just give a little bow. Sorry, sorry, ref. Then get on with it. But when, I'm happy. Yeah. When you're looking to the next get out, then Cal. Um. Well, I just told him I'm out September. He, he's the thing is with Eddie, he's giving me my dates last week before I even boxed tonight. So September eighth in London and I think it's September twenty second again. Uh or around that date in Belfast and then there's one in sixth of October, I think it's in Liverpool, I'm not sure. But yeah, six six fights before the end of the year. Um I had a call from Nando's earlier, they said you didn't pay for your halloumi cheese. What's going on? I didn't have halloumi cheese. I don't know. They asked me. They said the little the little fellow that was with yeah, you, yeah. the little fella. It can't be him because he's fifty holding the camera. It can't be me. So I'm assuming the little fella is you. Who didn't pay for your halloumi cheese. Shouldn't be saying that. Shouldn't be having this now. <laughs> nah. <laughs> you didn't have no cheese. Though. I thought you were gonna pay for mine with you big time with the Gucci iPad case, the Gucci iPhone case. Listen, I ain't cracked pound. nothing yet. You could have paid nine pound for a meal. Is that all it was? Nine pound. Nine pound, mate. Wow. That's a lot of chicken, isn't it? Yeah, and a lot of chicken. It's only a quarter chicken and double rice, mate. <laughs> Listen, I'm in your area, aren't I? Really? Well, I'm not really, but you're this fighting here. Territory, man. This yeah. is, you know, um, spent a, spent a lot of years up here in Sheffield with the GB squad. And one thing I want to say is, I want to wish all the GB uh, boys and girls all the best in the next couple of weeks in the Olympic Games. So I'm telling you now, boys and girls, listen to team captain Tommy Stalker, and I'm sure they'll be alright. And vice captain Anthony Joshua. I'm sure he'll be happy I got that in. I just had a phone call from Anthony Joshua about half hour ago. He's, he's probably playing his PlayStation again. No, he just went, Coogan, man, I just see you on TV. <laughs> Fucking how can you miss you? How can you miss you? <laughs> yeah, this is a family channel, so, you know. Yeah, man. Right, listen, Cal, congratulations. Like I said, awkward customer today. Dealt with him. Yeah. I'm on to your second fight, and uh, you'll get better and better as you go on. Yeah, definitely, man, hopefully. I want to read that tattoo later as well. Yeah, you can read it. I've got one on my ass as well. Okay, we'll leave it there. <laughs> Coogan Cassius, Cal Yafai, I from London. Yeah. Thank you very much. Nice one, bro. Thanks,